Hi guys, this is your girl Wakeji Kamore and welcome to Reflections by Wakeji Kamore. <laughs> Today we are going to be covering 2 Chronicles chapter 5. Again, as I like to say, please pause this recording and read the chapter for yourself. At the very least, you will understand what is happening in the chapter. And even better, the Holy Spirit will give you revelation and give you lessons that are specifically tailored for the space that you are in in your life. Before you listen to my summary and to the lessons that I have for today. Right, so in the previous chapters we have seen uh, Solomon has become king. He's asked God for wisdom. God has given him wisdom. He started preparing to build the temple and put together things that he needed to put together. That was in chapter 2. In chapter 3, he built the structural temple and the, you know, the exterior temple. He built the temple. And then in chapter 4, we saw him furnishing the temple with lamps, lampstands, snuffers, tongs, basins, and all those things were pure, of pure gold. In chapter 5, is finally the chapter to bring in the presence of the Lord. To be like, okay, God, we have built the temple. We have furnished it. Now, please come. Come and dwell in this temple. And we see that the first thing that, uh, or rather how he brings in the, the presence of God is that he brought in the, the most sacred treasure. The most sacred treasure in the, you know, in the um, Old Testament was the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant was, um, in layman terms, it was a box. It was a box that on the inside of that box, it had the um, the Ten Commandments that God had given to Moses. So the Ten Commandments were in a box. I know I say it has a box, but let me tell you that thing was beautiful. It was gold, <laughs> number one. It has like it had like cherubims, like you know, like um, almost like angels protect. Like it was beautiful. You guys Google it. Google the Ark of the Covenant so that you just see how it looked. It was beautiful. It was made of gold. It had special specifications of how it should be carried, who should carry it, why it should not touch, who should not touch it. It was like the representation of the presence of God. And it was a box. And inside that box was the word of God. Rather, it was the, 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 the what's the word? What? It was the Ten Commandments that God had given Moses. And that is how they brought in the presence of God into the temple. And the Bible says that when the presence of God came, or rather when the Ark of the Covenant was placed in the innermost part of the temple, there was so much cloud <laughs> that the, the priests could not continue with the service because there was so much cloud for the glorious presence of the Lord filled the temple of God. That immediately they brought in the Ark of the Covenant, which was the representation of the presence of God and which was also the representation when we look at it now of the word of God because inside that ark of the covenant was the the law it, it there was the law in there there was the commandments that Moses had been given at the at Mount Sinai that is what was carried inside that ark so my question is if the temple that Solomon built was filled by the presence of God, by the fact that the Ark of the Covenant was brought into the temple. And the Ark of the Covenant carried the law, carried the, the words that God had given Moses as the Ten Commandments. What does the Ten Commandments look like now? What does the what does that ark of the covenant look like now because yes we have built the temple we have taken care of our bodies we are looking all groomed and all hygienic we have taken care of our hearts and our spirit and now they are beautiful and pure how do we then bring in the um the presence of the lord and the bible says that they carried in the most sacred treasure and the same thing, that's the same thing we're going to do to actually usher in the presence of God in this temple that is our body, in this temple that is our spirit. We are going to bring in the most sacred treasure to this temple, this now temple that which is a body of our bodies and our spirit and our hearts. We are going to bring in the most sacred treasure, which is the word of God. They carried a box and inside that box was the Ten Commandments. As we are going to read the word of God and fill it with our, in our hearts, fill our hearts with the word of God. And when we do that, the glorious presence of the, the, the glorious presence of the Lord will fill our hearts. It will fill our spirits. And that is how, guys, we bring in the presence of our Lord, of the Lord in our lives by reading 
the word of God. So let's read the word of God. And by doing that, we are basically bringing in the most sacred treasure into our hearts. We are bringing in the most sacred um, treasure, which was the Ark of the Covenant at that time, the word of the, the, the Ten Commandments. And as we are reading the word of God, we are filling our hearts with the presence of God. We are filling our spirits with the presence of God. And you know, let me tell you, where the presence of God exists, all those other bad things, ex- ex- like they, you can't, they can't coexist you can't have filled your heart with the word of God. That can't happen. Like the two cannot coexist. So whatever it is that you are speaking, whatever it is that is coming out of your mouth, that is what your heart is filled out of. So that's how you gauge yourself. Because the word says that from the fullness of our hearts, our mouth speaketh. So whatever it is that you have filled your heart with is what you will you will speak so that's how you know whether you have you have brought in the presence of god in our hearts and how you bring in the presence of god in our hearts is by reading the word of god and you know believing it and soaking ourselves in the word of god and then we will be fully um filled with the glorious presence of the lord i hope you guys have uh, enjoyed it I hope that you guys have enjoyed um if you're just listening to 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 the to the what is it for the to the takeouts and I do pray that you have your own takeouts and may the Lord help us to read this word that is the word of the Lord because let me tell you it is a game changer the word of God is a game changer there's no single person who can say that they read the word of God they believed it and it didn't work for them I have not met one single person who said I read the word of God I understood it and I believed it and I did what it said but it didn't work for me so so I pray that we will learn how to read the word of God because in doing that we are bringing in the most sacred treasure in our hearts and the Lord and his glorious presence will fill our hearts and our lives as well. Thank you so much for listening and see you tomorrow.